Tilt the world, tilt the world, tilt the world, tilt the world. Shut up! Cartoons. One, two, three. What? Really, 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 really freaking embarrassing. <gasps> oh, 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 no. Really, 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 really freaking embarrassing. <gasps> Oh, oh no. Really embarrassing, freaking embarrassing, really embarrassing. Oh. Okay, who's got an embarrassing story for me? You. I got one bumping into you again. Get up, bitch. Hold on, hold on. I've got one for you. We had just been over to a friend's house, having a great picnic on a beautiful summer afternoon, Kids. had our hot dogs, our beer, our potato salad, and somebody had the idea of walking down the street to this little carnival that was set up in the parking lot of a Lutheran church. So we walk over there, this is myself, my five-year-old daughter, a friend of mine, his son, about the same age. We walk in, check out the sideshows, play a few games, and then we see at the end of the parking lot, Tilt-A-Whirl. They get really excited about the Tilt-A-Whirl. I'm not so excited about the Tilt-A-Whirl. But, you know, what am I going to do? Say no in front of my five-year-old daughter. I'm too afraid to go on the Tilt-A-Whirl. Of course I can't do that. So I get on the Tilt-A-Whirl. I decide this is my chance to try this mind over matter thing that I keep hearing about. So the Tilt-A-Whirl starts. Of course, it's being run by some guy who hasn't taken a shower in three months. Basically deaf. Not paying attention to anything that's going on. You know, within just a few seconds of the, the spinning the, uh, G-forces, I could feel that wonderful picnic lunch starting to get a little agitated down there. So I decide I'm going to close my eyes, take some deep breaths. Well, it wasn't happening. I could feel it starting to come up. And you know, I desperately signaled the, uh, the carny, you know, can you stop this thing? Please, man. Help me out. Stop, stop. Of course, he's not paying any attention. Or if he is paying attention, he's just ignoring me. So, you know, the inevitable happens. I can feel it starting to come up. I look around. You know, at the speed we're flying, who knows where this stuff is going to land. I don't want to make myself messy. I don't want to make my friend messy, my daughter, his son messy. So, what could I do but clamped my lips shut as tightly as I could, and as it came up, there it was in my mouth, and through some strange act of will, I kept it in there. But then what could I do? So I had to swallow it. <coughs> and let me tell you, it wasn't so bad, really. I mean, it tasted about the same going down as it does coming up. Really embarrassing, freaking embarrassing, really embarrassing, oh, oh.